guys? I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. So guys, today I am going to be making probably the sandwich that I eat the most besides like my cooked ham and lunch meat sandwich that I take to work. This is probably the sandwich that I eat the most. It is really simple, really quick, and it is really, really good. I'm going to be frying up two fillets of tilapia and I'm just going to season them lightly with some salt and pepper because I'm going to be putting some mayo, some cheese, and some hot sauce on this sandwich on toast. It's going to be a double-decker tilapia sandwich. So I'm going to get going here. I have my oven preheating because that's how I make my toast <laughs> because I don't have a toaster. <laughs> so you have to improvise. <laughs> but yeah, I have two tilapia fillets. I think a lot of people sleep on tilapia because you can do a lot with tilapia. A lot of people like, you know, salmon is much healthier, but tilapia is more versatile. And that's what I like. And I love the smell of tilapia when it's frying in a pan. Alright guys, we're just gonna I'm just gonna lightly season this up with some salt and pepper. Salt, 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 salt and pepper's here. Yep. And I'm going to get this going. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. going on with that I what's happening with this thing I'm going to use the back one. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to flip this over. But I'm going to stop for a second. And put my toast in the oven. Because the fish is not going to take that long to uh, fry up in the pan. I love this uh, Sara Lee butter bread. It's so good. It's like a, a yellowish hue. Really good. There we go. You're probably not going to be able to see that over there in the corner now because I have the camera so that this aisle right here could be seen. But anyway, let's uh, season up the opposite side. I might put some some complete herbs on here. Just a little tiny bit. <clears throat> Tilapia is a type of fish that it really needs it could be a little bland. Put that in there. This is going to be a good sandwich. You guys should really, really try this out. And plus with tilapia, you get a big bag. I get the big bag at Walmart for like, I think six or seven dollars. And I usually get, oh man, probably eight to ten pieces of it. So it goes a long way, much, much further than uh, salmon. My best friend, he loves salmon. That's why, you know, you don't He's the type of guy you don't treat him out to to eat that often because he'll he'll get the sixteen dollar salmon meal on you all the time. So I treat him out. It's gonna be Chipotle and Burger King. 
<laughs> you gotta be smart, you know? <laughs> Tilapia doesn't take very long to uh, get done either. And it's one of those types of fish, unless you put like some flour on it, it's not going to give you a, a crust. It's more or less going to be the, the meaty of the fish itself. So that's, oh man, this is smelling. This is starting to smell really good. And we're going to put some hot sauce and some mayo on there. It's going to be nice and simple. Get me a cup of what? What am I, I going to, what am I going to drink with that? <laughs> oh, let me show y'all something right quick. Check it out. I went to Walmart at like, it must have was like 11, but I lucked out because they were just now stocking the toilet paper, the paper towels. Walmart had uh, some water out and everything, so I got some more stuff. This is enough to last me like for a very long time, man. Yep. I got a bunch of toilet paper. I should learn from my middle sister because she is the queen of stock. She stocks everything. She always have like stocks of uh, water, toilet paper, paper towels. But see, she work at Acme. <laughs> she work at a grocery store, so she gets the, you know, the heads up. All right, I'm gonna turn this fish. And this is the time that I go ahead and put my cheese, one on each side of the fish. Not each side, but on each piece. I'm telling you, if you have not made this sandwich, it is really, really good. Some Swiss cheese. This cheese melts really good. I don't even know if y'all can see this frying pan now. But, got the cheese on there. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my bread over in the oven. So that my toast can be brown. I can go ahead and put my mayo on there. This is gonna be so good. I think New Jersey is in a state of an emergency. I'm quite sure other states are as well. My job uh, gave us this little uh, sheet of paper to put in our windshield. I guess what it says that um, if we get pulled over by the police, I guess they limited people being out on the street, out and about. Um, I guess what this is going to tell the police that um, our job is a necessity <laughs> and that we need to be at work. It's a production type job and I don't know. I don't know too much about it, but yeah, I have this little, uh, I guess it's the size of a regular sheet of paper. All right, the fish look good. It's coming along as soon as my bread toast up just a little bit more. I'm going to get this sandwich on that plate and then from that plate to this little belly here. Alright, let's get the toast out. It's not like really, really dark. It's not like really, really dark, but it's hard. So I'm going to put some mayo on it. Turn that off. Bring that forward. You guys can see that. And I'm going to make a double decker. A double decker tilapia fish sandwich. This bad boy is going to be good. Woo-wee. That going to 
gonna be some kind of good. Now we're gonna top it off with some hot sauce. Now I could put a slice of tomato on there, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat it the way I've been fixing it. Now I'm gonna cut this in half. Hey guys, my double decker tilapia sandwich with cheese, mayo, and hot sauce. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna give me a little bit of. Don't you say nothing, real. Don't you say nothing. Don't you say something. Alright guys, let's dig in and take a big bite of this sandwich because it is so good. that's going to do it for today's video. If you happen to have some tilapia around and you want to do something different with it besides fixing it like in a traditional dinner like with some rice or something, try this sandwich. It is really, really good. That's going to do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so very much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.